goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. So I digged into my hobby because I haven't been into my hobby for a long time, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I got this comic book icon right, right here. Show mm-hmm. them right here, icon. Does that say that Coon a, Rocket? No, nah, a... icon. <laughs> oh, icon. I was about to be like, wait, what the hell? Icon and Rocket. Oh, I got a Rocket. It's a, it's a redo <laughs> or whatever. Coon <laughs> Rocket. Or <laughs> I thought you said Cool Rocket. It's he said Cool Rocket, but it's really Icon and Rocket, which is funny because it's about a alien that turns into a black person and becomes a black Superman, basically, in slavery time or whatever. Oh shit! That you did say Cool <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. Yeah. It's the funny thing about it. All right, so um, Cool Rocket, was, go. Cool Rocket. Reg, Reginald Hudlin, um, the guy that he used to be the president of B- BET um, back in the day, he put the Black Pan- he had like a, a Black Panther comic book and he put the cartoon on BET one time or whatever. But he's writing the book or whatever. And I got the second one right. And um, or whatever. And Icon is in this picture right here and he got the coming out of a bl- burning like plantation mansion and he got like if the guy in right here he's the president of the confederacy <laughs> it's like and i was like oh okay that, that's what we're going on what the fuck? like jefferson right. davis yes he has jefferson davis head in his hand and yeah i was like all right rewrite your history why don't you i was like mm-hmm. okay that sound like uh, a, a a comic Tariq Nasheed would really be into. I'm pretty sure he's sooner or later gonna gonna look into it or whatever. But it was uh, it's a back in the '90s they had Milestone Media and it was a whole bunch of black comic book, um, just like a its own comic book uh, company, like a Marvel and a uh, Image and everything. Thing, basically what I'm trying to do or whatever and um was it Dwayne McDuffie may he rest in peace he was a he was like uh he was a, one of the main people that pushed John Stewart and Justice League or whatever but um yeah they created a comic book p- company and DC had bought it for one for a moment and now they like doing their own separate thing and like re bringing them out and one of the bigger Bring them out. Um, one of the bigger comic book characters is Static Shock because he had his own cartoon from back in the day, and he's from that Milestone Media cartoon. But yeah, that threw me off when I um I saw dude, they do said um yeah he got like pretty much the president of the Confederacy <laughs> with his head seven and stuff. I was like, oh okay, we couldn't do this like thirty years. Yeah, couldn't do this about thirty years ago. No, they were. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 it will cause hey, you the problem. best Avenger, man. Huh? Who the best Avenger? Who's the best Avenger? Mm-hmm. Mm. See, that's that's the thing. It's so freaking me, many of them. It's, exactly. That's why I asked you. What universe? You know. I mean, I mean this, you're talking about the Marvel MCU thing. or like. No, he talking about the Avengers. Is, uh, Avengers is just MCU, so it's so many of them. But the top three is Thor, Iron Man, and Cap, Captain America. But it all depends on who's writing them. Whatever, because me with my Wolverine bias, I could say Wolverine is the best Avenger ever. You know what I'm saying? I could say Spider Man is yeah. the best Avenger ever. Doctor Strange mm-hmm. or whatever. But as far as the main people or whatever, um, mm-hmm. Thor, because he has the power or whatever, um, he has a, about the same, almost the same amount of strength as Hulk, but he's more level-headed <laughs> than Hulk. So we could do like tactical moves with Hulk-like 
you know, precision, you know, strength and going along with it. Cap because he's a tactical genius or whatever, and Iron Man because he could freaking MacGyver times a million <laughs> with technology, pretty much. Whatever. But like you can have those three alone and they will do it or whatever. But you know, Hulk is always a fit favorite or whatever because okay. technically he got the brains he just can only use it when he's not pissed off so he got to yeah. technically figure out when he's going to be pissed off <laughs> so flip question flip that who's the worst avenger oh is this guy named d-man he's a demo his name is like demolition man he looked like a reject version of like all the characters put together like his Wolverine. name is horrible. D man. Exactly. Yes, exactly. It's like D hyphen. <laughs> D man. <laughs> nah, yeah. bro. You ain't coming to none of the Avengers meeting with your name being no fucking D man. I'm sure. I'm showing how much of a, a, a nerd I am. By hey, y'all, make sure D man come. No, I ain't about to be saying no <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, he looked like. He looked like Wolverine and Daredevil at the same time, or whatever, like his costume or whatever. And I mean, I don't know. I think he's just a, like a joke person, but he is he is the worst. That is he the, a joke guy. The worst. Like the can you see this? You see this guy? And what is that his is power? What, what, what is your power when your name is that? I, I was a freaking joke. Wait, let me go. What, what do you freaking do special? Joke. All right, this, these these are his abilities. <laughs> his, oh, his, his real name is Dennis Dunphy. Dennis Dunphy. Um, D-Man, Demolition Dunphy, what are our abilities? Skilled aircraft pilot. Excellent hand to hand com- combatant. Oh, I bet he Superhead. is good with his hands. His name D Man. <laughs> Superhuman strength, stamina, and durability. So basically the same powers that a, any old, old random super person would have. But yeah, that is and, and he's he's the worst. He he's the worst, not because of like storyline he's just his character design is just trash it's all hell or whatever and then the next on the list is probably hank pym because hank pym is a woman beater and um he's jealous of everybody and in the comic book he made ultron so he's 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 kind of the worst it's like a reject wolverine with no claws as d-man but yeah yeah, I think the best Avenger is definitely Doctor Strange now. I used to think it was the Hulk, but uh, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I like Doctor Strange the best. Um, as far as the worst Avenger, D-Man is definitely up there to me now. I ain't know who the hell he was before the night, but uh, that was that's pretty fucking bad. Uh, I don't think I know enough of them to like say the absolute worst, but if I had to go off of those that I know, then uh, I'd probably say... Hmm. The MCU version of Quicksilver, because that nigga was only in there for like a, a scene. He's out. Oh, God, uh, yeah. God, I'm up out of there, so, yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> Oh, that's about they right. They murked his shit. That's... Yeah, he did. Yeah, he fast in the hurry, boy. I ain't let that nigga breathe. Get your ass about here. You want to be quick? Let you die quick. Ain't no goddamn sense. Well, I will say I like Ultron in that movie because he was a sarcastic some bitch. That movie. It was. It wasn't now, like the Ro- best Robo Avengers Tony movie. Stark. Yeah. But a, just a tad bit more sarcastic, like he was. He he gave me like a a Big Bang Theory sarcastic. Like I've never watched that show. Is I've seen like a couple of episodes. Like really, no. all right. Like uh, the Office. 
The Office sarcastic. I like, like The Office. Like if I think I watched if every episode Jim, if Jim was um an evil villain or whatever. If he, you're the white, he was. Yeah, the white is the white is hilarious. The white Sweet. but the actual actor of Dwight, I think he a jerk or something. <laughs> oh, for real? Is yeah, I think he. Yeah, I heard some. I heard I some see crazy that. stuff. I could definitely I heard see some that. crazy stuff about him, man. Like I don't know. I, I think see he's that. Like, mm, but mm. he looked like he. He looked like he might have like a messed up attitude. Man, you might have to check his ass all the time. <clears throat> Random question. Ask Random it. question for y'all. Ask it. What if else you got to do? If y'all mainstream artists, y'all would y'all always wanted just to see someone see battle. Mainstream rap artists that y'all just wanted to see them go in on somebody one day. Hmm. May I have already seen them? I'll let you go first. I'm I'm thinking. Um, wow, that's tough. Mm-hmm. That's actually tough. Oh, I got you. DMX. Uh, uh, Cause I used to hear about scary. him, him and uh, Jay Z going back and forth and shit. So I always wanted to see like what would happen if he battled. Mm-hmm. Especially as aggressive as he is, cause like who gonna who gonna pocket check DMX? Yeah, like, like that's one of those situations where you're gonna need more than just bars to go against a personality like that. Man, what that nigga, nigga, that nigga go against the saga or something and get the praying in the ring. He fuck around, have saga <laughs> in that bitch uh, about to cry. I put you in the body bag and pray for you. I mean that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Andre. Mm, that would be different with him as a battler. Crazy. That'd be kind of crazy, but I can see it. I can see it. It'd be like I can see it. it'd be like I can see him uh, on daylight type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like daylight now, you mean, or daylight uh mm-hmm. taking dumps on stage and getting naked on uh total slaughter and shit. Not yeah. taking dumps. Not yeah. taking yeah. dumps. <laughs> Not taking dumps. Yeah. I'm talking about with the but even like the way he flowed back then. <clears throat> Like his flow ain't the same right now. More, more, more now. Okay, I can see that then. Yeah, I can see him. In I, a loaded, I can see in that a loaded Lux type pocket, but a little more digestible because he's not as uh, overly intricate just because. And then yeah. it would be on beat. It would be on beat. That's the yeah. Thing. He have a good cadence. You know what I'm saying? He would have the most awesome yeah, cadence. Come on, they Nigga make some money with a guitar. Nigga be up there uh, <laughs> battling people. So I was like, and then there's heaven in that. Them ain't in heaven in it. He be the made a whole damn gonna, hit. That should have be a hit. He gonna say, he gonna say the most simple, but reference. complex, like most simple but complex bar or whatever to kill somebody. It's like, wait a minute, what did he say? No, I know what he said, but what did he say? <laughs> I love what you are. I know I what, what he said, but what he say? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, know I what heard he him. Said, I heard him, he... but did you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like what people, what what black people uh, describe something to really describe it. I mean, I know you heard me, but did you hear me? Hear me? You I mean, I saying? saw him, but I ain't seen him. Seen him. Did you look? I mean, did you look? Look. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm sleepy, but I ain't sleeping. Sleep. I mean, I'm hungry, but I ain't hungry. hungry. I'm always hungry. Hungry. I'm sure, I got a tapeworm or something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> 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 Try to slip them little shades in on the slide, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> nigga, I'm not fat. I'm I'm pleasantly plump. 
<laughs> uh, Bebe Kids was a classic. <clears throat> I'm like, kids about that shit. Forget it, man. What What are the crazy questions you got for he me? Ain't I know you got. I know you got like oh. a million that you want to set me up for. Let's let the people have it. Oh, oh shit, shit. Okay. I'm afraid. Hold on, what? I'm so afraid. What's about to happen? What's about to happen? You need it there. You know, like, mm-hmm. Face's hobby is putting me in predicaments. So I'm scared. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what? Let's let the people have it, man. What kind of crazy questions you got for me? Let's get it. 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 Let
more funny wise. W- he which just said superhero the movie. is better. Oh, which no. superhero movie, better? Which, oh, which Media Man, because he which actually got fucking better. powers. I don't want no. But them I niggas want, did them shit. Did they I say that? No, I don't want no nigga that be nothing on himself, sure enough to try to save me. Just like, eh, eh, eh. No, I ain't got time for this shit. Man, I need somebody J-Pod. who got some powers, man. Come lift this bus J-Pod. up off my leg, man. They ain't got time for you to be over there looking at the reporter. Eh, eh, yeah. He attached a boot. Nah, bro. He attached a boot to. to yeah, a man. You, you throw a flashlight to Altoids, Ted, the Slinkies and shit at people. They ain't got time for this nigga rig shit. I need somebody who will come here with some heat vision. Some super strength, some cool breath, like some, some, some shit that go actually. Nigga see. red Batman. Go over there, get your yeah, ass with, with your old contraption. Getting the oh, shit beat out of you with some Batman. old 1940s pajamas <laughs> with the ass out. You got time for this shit? You got a great, a great value Batman out here with, some, oh, <laughs> with his God. long johns on. Now, front of your movie, definitely blank man, but on oh, some real life, who, who the best, better superhero? Man, what? Like just like just imagine yeah. that not in movie context, but you actually in an emergency and need some help, and this Negro come rolling up on you with an old washing machine talking about is a robot, and he talk <laughs> like you be to kick this ass like that's like think about that. Blank man is literally just the dude, the crazy dude from the uh, gas station, dude. That's all he he the crazy dude from the gas station that that actually found some shit and put it together and actually made it. He actually he actually made it into some uh shit. That's who that is. That is him. That's that's let me hold that's let me hold two dollar nephew. And let me hold two dollar nephew. That's That's how that that washing machine was. I'd never seen that washing machine like that, and he made it into a robot. Nigga, but, he, but can you imagine <laughs> that though? You need some help, and that's who come rolling up. Like literally, like like say you that lady who got uh, y'all remember a couple of years back the lady had got like stuck with the subway was like had her pinned to the uh tracks or something like that in New York. It was like the she had slipped between the uh track and the train, and the train had like pressed her, so she was like. Press and like all of them people in the subway, it was like thousand, a thousand people got off the subway. And they started pushing the train. They were able to push the train off so they can get her out. Oh, that you was in China. That? Okay. Yeah, that was like in China. All right, something. so in China, yeah. I don't remember, but I remember seeing that video. Now imagine that video, right? But imagine you the person that stuck with the train, and it's not a thousand people there. The train empty that day. Everybody at home. Some happened, but you got to call out for the superhero, and they put out the signal in the air, like the bad signal. And in swoops, who do you want to see? Do you want to see Media Man actually flying in for real, busting through a wall, showing you he's strong as hell, lifting the train off you with one hand? Or you want this nigga rolling up to you with a washing machine robot? I was like, let just let me talk into my crotch real quick. Yeah, yeah. I need Mind help. You. Come on, J5. Mind, you. Mind you. more power. And he throwing boots and slinkies and shit at you. <laughs> Mind you, if if, if Media Man hey. do fly in, he gonna hey, bro. he gonna fly real low. This, this he was Negro scared is throwing slinkies <laughs> and, and and spatulas <laughs> and oven mitts and shit at you, red old temp old Doc Martens. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga hit you with salamis <laughs> on a string. Talking about they nunchucks. Like, think about what we talking about here, dude. Hey, and then come Media on. Man comes in. He comes in flying like one foot off of the ground because he's afraid of heights and then, you know, pushes it out of the way. I don't care. But, he can push that shit off me. This other dude <laughs> coming in there, he ain't going to do nothing but sit there and <laughs> start throwing his little house, throwing pots and pans and shit at this train. Like, nigga, get this off of me. J5 ass going to be, gonna be the fell off the edge of the... Of the uh, the little the little platform and gonna be stuck on the rails. He ain't gonna be no good to nobody no more. He ain't gonna be able to do nothing. He gonna be the argue. He gonna Somewhere. be to argue with his older brother. So he ain't gonna have no backup. So now it's just gonna I be him. Wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for Media Man versus Blank Man. <laughs> Bro, Media Man would kick Blank Man's ass. <laughs> <laughs> not at the comedy. Not in the comedy box office. Huh? Oh, Freddy Krueger versus Candyman. 
Freddy Krueger. Hmm. Freddy Krueger, absolutely. <clears throat> one got to be called to come. The other one can just pop up anytime he wants to in your dream. He feel like he ain't got to call True. shit. He just come pull up on you. Okay. I like that direct approach a little more. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Freddy Krueger. Let's say you, Pat. I was, yeah, the way you explained it. Yeah, that kind of beats, that kind of trumps that. Or whatever. All right. The bitch from Carrie or Jason Voorhees. I'd rather deal with the bitch from Carrie. Uh, Jason Voorhees, uh, he's ex- incredibly strong. I can at least shoot that bitch. Yeah, Jason Voorhees don't die. <laughs> in, in the head. Yeah, Jason Voorhees don't die. That 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 he don't die. I can shoot that bitch right in the head. I can shoot that bitch right (laughs) or right in the head. Second Amendment. You've been thinking about that. I can shoot that bitch. I'm sorry. What she do to you, Pat? What? (laughs) Who hurt you? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is about survival. (laughs) Who hurt you, Voorhees? (laughs) You can tell us. Blink twice if you're not okay. If I pick Jason Voorhees, guess what? <laughs> it would be him. Oh, but Carol, Gosh. no. Bye, bye. This is true. Uh, Can't argue. Had a one. Mm-hmm. We go with bigger stoner movie. How high? Friday. How oh, high? A stoner movie? movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how high? Okay. How now, you're talking about now, if you're talking about the better of the two movies, right? But oh, no, we're going like, different cl- different categories. Same two movies, different categories. Best stoner movie, we y'all say how high? Best cult classic. Friday. I'm gonna say Friday how high because I feel like Friday is not as a cult movie. It's like a it's like a commercial success. Like that movie was a big movie. Period. That, that's true. That's I true. feel like I was, it was, was like, a period. Like a well, movie it, was. it was like a, not a lot of people really went to go see it when it first dropped, and then like through the DVD and the and the replay, people started you know you get high to it, and people started finding little intricate little Easter eggs and stuff, and then it became like a thing. But I feel I like I feel Friday like it, just always been a big movie. I'm I feel like, like at first it was like a cult Friday. classic, though. Who, Friday? Just in the beginning. In the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then it grew. Like, after a while, like, however, but... Mm-hmm. I, can, I can agree with that. I can agree with that, because I, I don't feel like when it first came out, it wasn't that popular. But the more and more it stayed out, the more the younger generation started uh, start looking at it, and the more and more we became more like uh, mainstream, and mm-hmm. especially with the West the West Coast culture and Ice Cube and everybody and knowing about him and trying to do his catalog and everything else, and especially with um once that movie came out, um the last movie that came out with uh, the next NWA. When that mm-hmm. came out, a lot of people was going back and watching watching that movie. So it gave people another look or some other stuff he did. So it gave, I believe it became more popular, but it started out as a cult classic. But it just came, it became mainstream. It became more commercialized. Where now mm-hmm. it's on TV. They, they they both on TV. You feel me? Like a lot, but you'll see Friday on TV on multiple channels all the damn time because it's so commercialized really. mm. I, yeah like I think it, it started off that way and then just now now is definitely like a mainstream classic just over the years or whatever and how high is still it, like a cult some, classic we're going to have to look that up at some point but I feel mm. like Friday when it dropped like it was a commercial success like I feel like cult classic mean like it wasn't a commercial success, but it became a success like after the movie uh, was out <laughs> because people over time started to like get into it and stuff. But I don't know, maybe maybe Friday didn't do as good as I thought it did or something. Maybe I have revisionist uh-huh. history. Revisionist history. 
I don't know. I could be wrong part. too. Or whatever. Because I like I just looked at it at the time. I don't know. I'm looking at it as like uh just I only knew the black people in my school knowing knowing about it. Or whatever. The, everybody else, if they were like white, they just because they hanged around the black people, but they didn't they were outside of the culture. They didn't really know nothing about Friday or whatever. But that was just like at my school at that time. So I don't know. I'm just going at it like from my I don't head. know what the hell the white folk in my school was doing at that time. I can't remember. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Last two questions. Okay. All about the Benjamins. But Jackie Promoters. Oh, all about the Benjamins. About the Benjamins, yeah. I only seen Janky me. Promoters once. That movie was... I, I love that movie. <clears throat> 15. A 30. A 37. A 38. <laughs> 45, 47. 45, 47. See, man, you can see, Mr. Sherman, you keep messing with me. I'm gonna fuck around, had to go around there to the white. The white who? The white around your lips. <laughs> oh, that movie funny as hell. Last question. Best movie franchise. Die Hard franchise. Indiana Jones franchise. Oh, that's for hard me. For me, me, Die Hard, because I ain't I ain't really <clears throat> care about Indiana Jones like that. But that that's but, hard. But, me, but, but that hard too was my shit. No, hold on. Which one is it with Samuel L. Jackson? Whichever one that is, my shit. That's that hard too. Yeah, mean? but which one? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Whichever one that is is my favorite. But uh, I like that. Yippee Kaye, Kaye, motherfuckers. I think that's number two. No, that's number three. Because number two got um. They uh, do some other shit. Oh, that hard with the vengeance. That, mm-hmm. Is that the one with Samuel? <clears throat> but I like the first yeah. and the second one. The first one and the second one are like my favorite. I'm not mad the, the first one was out. definitely dope. The one that he's jumping out saying Yippie Kayo, Yippie Kaye, motherfucker, whatever the fuck. Oh, you mean every, every one of them? He said that in that one of them. Oh. The first time, the first time. I remember the first time it like he jumped out of a window and started. Oh, the first time he said Yippie Kaye, uh, that was in uh, the very first movie. He was in that vent. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 But even though, even though, though, Indiana Jones is a childhood favorite for me, man. I wanted to, I wanted to be Indiana Jones. I wanted to travel world. I still want to I be. wanted that <laughs> yeah. jokes. where you can swing from shit. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely thought Indiana Jones was cool as a kid, but it wasn't because I had seen the movies. It was because I had seen like all of the history, like history, the highlights history. about it and, you know, mm-hmm. cartoons and other shows would like play off of, you know, the movie. And then, of course, the the big scenes from those movies were always like played on stuff. So you would always see them. So mm-hmm. like, but I didn't really watch an Indiana Jones movie. I don't think until I was an, an adult. I watched it as a kid. Like, uh, yeah, oh, I watched oh, it as a kid. I think action movies and cartoons like kind of raised <laughs> me on that I media side like of two or three and watch all the Indiana Jones movies back to back to back. Football and shit, so. Man, in my head, and they, I and they making a kid, new one now. Shit. They always they making another one. Like, yeah, yeah. They, this is like the they're sixth one now. right now. <clears throat> it's like the sixth one. It's like hey, Indiana four Jones original. Gonna be, they gonna and they gonna be <clears throat> swinging around in a fucking wheelchair by the time they start. Oh, Let oh, that man Harrison go Ford. to sleep. Harrison Ford. It is time for him to retire. It wasn't bad, though. I fuck with that Christmas I, stuff. We come um, jump for the Christmas stuff. Shit, I fuck with that. I didn't Man, see I that thought, one, but I heard a lot of people saying, like, well, a lot of indie fans saying that they didn't like that one. I, I fuck with Indiana with Jones anybody. so yeah, I mean, hard. It won't, it, 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 if you're a, a, a pure Indiana <clears throat> purist and you just want to see it all about him, nah, you ain't going to really like it because it stretches away from just the ancient <clears throat> shit and it's more looking like, like, um, 
belief in aliens and shit like that with the technology he found, the crystal skull, oh, shit like that, and the Mitchell Hedge, Mitchell Hedge skull and shit like that. You feel like it's more like you can delve into more just that other realm type in our type of reality shit, shit instead of shit like the, um, the ancient history and the old, the old shit from the side. So I can see, I can understand it like that. And plus he had a, uh, what was his son and his, um, the, the, it was a couple of people back from the old movie. But of course his father yeah. couldn't be in because the dude passed away. So I mean, yeah, yeah shit, niggas, niggas, people get old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but it and was yeah. a good movie to me. Indiana Jones is like Doctor Strange with no powers. Like all his stuff is like into like mystical art. Like it starts off with like army, um, mm-hmm. World War Two stuff, and then you find out yeah. whoever he's fighting against and whatever Nazi he's fighting against is messing with some old supernatural stuff, or he in um, some cover. crazy island and it's a death cult. That he get captured by or whatever, but oh, I always hanging around. You know what I'm saying at the burger factory, the <laughs> uh, Yeah, he, yeah. Tecumseh was the one that um kidnapped that chick and and brought him to the death cult. Yeah, he was the guy that was taking the hearts out <laughs> and making burgers <laughs> out of the hearts well, well, and then giving it to the demons and, and stuff. I know what Tecumseh, Tecumseh did to heart. Who's the best James Bond, man? Who was the best James Bond? Yeah. Um, I don't know. The um I would say Connery, but I don't mind Daniel Craig either. <clears throat> yeah, that Daniel Craig is he's, my dude. He's actually he's pretty decent. Yeah. I like all his new Skyfall, um <laughs> Casino yeah. Royale. Uh, the one solace or whatever quantum of solace mm-hmm. quantum of solace and the video game oh, was dope good. the video games went dope oh, was good, dude. yeah 007 oh, definitely dude. sparked a whole revolution <clears throat> but uh, mm-hmm. I didn't like Pierce Bars and then that's Bond but... mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. the main reason I like Indiana Jones because I took Harrison Ford out of that movie and put myself in that in, some, in that movie or whatever. I was like, what? I get to learn stuff and get rich off of finding oh stuff and oh save God. bitches. Yeah. And then, and then there was that one scene where that dude was like flipping all the swords or whatever and then he was like, no, oh, forget this. Bam! And just shot the that dude. Was the and sh- that was the it, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like the original it. Scene, the original scene was supposed to be a sword, a sword fight between Harrison Ford and the other dude. It's going to end up taking two they days. Harrison take Ford was like, nah, Harrison Ford was like, man, why don't we just shoot this motherfucker in? <laughs> he was like, all right, bye. <laughs> that, that move told the move. Yep. The way Indiana Jones handled that situation <laughs> is the way I would handle Carrie. <laughs> Bam. Bam. <laughs> that stabbing me with no glass with your mind. Yeah, that's all the face questions, man. That thing I got for 